So Alex, we, in the previous video, we talked about uh, resumes and how they should apply using accomplishment statement when applying uh, to companies. So let's say the recruiter checks them out. Okay, we need to have a conversation with this person. In that sense, we tell the students or the clients that we are helping and have uh, prepare a star method, situation, task, action, and result. Have a good tell stories. In your experience, what are some of the tips that they should be preparing when doing their interview? So I have a lot of tips, I feel. This was, this was the question that I reflected upon, I think, uh, ultimately the most. Mm. Uh, I think after COVID, uh, and if I'm allowed to say that really, is uh, we're very comfortable with the virtual and uh, maybe in your you might still get a phone interview request or a pre-screen, but the very much the beginning of the interview or recruitment stage processes are likely to be phone and virtual. Yes. Um, and uh, again, the com companies are much more comfortable with that mm -hmm. virtualness. Yes. Uh, I always say dress the part and I mean, full body dress the part. So I know over the phone, you can't see me. Yeah. But if you're just in a hoodie and jeans and, you know, flip flops or nothing at all, yeah. it, it doesn't give you the right headspace of yeah. being in a professional interview. Yeah. So I always say dress the part, no matter what. And if it's virtual, you know, still wear nice dress pants, wear nice dress shoes or something <laughs> like that. Even if it's chest up, uh, yeah. you still want to make sure you're fully in the mind. In the mind. Getting into the zone. Um, I know everyone will follow or check the company's website yeah. as like, that's the, okay. I need to check their website, check their about us page. That's the typical key mm. piece that people do to just get to know the company a little bit more. But I think a value add of researching companies now is really following their socials. Yes. And their socials are usually much more updated. Yeah, much more up to date with who they are from a values perspective, the projects they're working on, their people. So given getting a flavor of who they are on their socials, whether it be, you know, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, what yeah. have you, uh, yeah. will probably give you a better impression of the organization that you can talk to them yeah. kind of about a little bit more. Uh, another key prep and probably the biggest one that I'm a big fan of is doing mock interviews. Mm -hmm. So interviews is are such a skill. They're a skill that you can get better at from practicing and practicing and practicing more, 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 more. Uh, you don't, some people are naturally probably good at interviews, but some, you know, you got to flex a little bit to be yes. comfortable with those settings. So practice with a family and friends. So take that job ad, kind of think about what kind of questions they will potentially ask you within yeah. that interview and then write them out, write down your answers. Uh, I try to think of writing down your answers more on jot form. Uh, Cause if you write them in full sentences, you're trying to recall the whole sentence. Whereas yeah. if you write in jot, you're much likely to recall it more simple, yeah. more simplistic. Uh, a basic some basic behavioral questions i feel are always going to be there uh for most roles within mm. any sort of professional business or kind of that team environment so you're always going to get going to get questions about how you stay organized your time management your yes. conflict resolution your problem solving so come prepared with situations that highlight those things yeah. so if you in your past positions have had a particularly challenging project that had maybe some challenging personalities to deal with well write it out write out yeah. how you worked through that write out how you were successful within those projects so you can recall that much more smoothly whenever you get to that yeah. interview uh, question uh, never say when you get to any of those interview questions, if there are situationally based, I don't know. I, I often will say that any person that's job hunting that's asking for advice, because I don't know, gets you a big fat zero on that answer. Yeah. But if you don't have that skills or that experience within your resume or within your career, Answer it in a theoretical. Answer it in a, you know, I haven't had that applied to me in my career just yet. But, you know, based on my experience with XYZ, mm -hmm. I think I'd be able to do it. Or based on my experience tackling this, like 
give the theoretical yes. to put some thought into yeah. it so at least you don't get that zero and so that the interviewers just at least get a better handle of your thinking yeah. uh, i'm really glad you brought up chat gtp mm -hmm. it is a tool i almost use daily and oh, i think more and more hr professionals need to get in tuned with it yeah. um it's not a be all end all and it's what i find more of a skeleton tool yes. than it is an overall so it's good to kind of give you a baseline uh, to come back to. So maybe use ChatTP in the sense of, okay, ChatTP, he, here's the job ad. Yeah. What are some potential questions it could, they could yeah. ask me from yeah. those job ads? Yeah. And then, bam, it has generated some potential questions. And, you know, the, it might not be exhaustive, nor may they be not correct. It depends yeah. on the uh, organization and their interview questions themselves. But it will give you kind of a frame to go through, and it would likely still help yes. all the same. Yeah. Um, ask smart questions and be ready to ask smart questions. So at the end of the interview, yeah. uh, when they ask you, do you have any questions for us? For sure. Always ask a couple questions back. Yeah. But here's the red flag to that. Uh, never come with like a list of 10 questions mm -hmm. and keep on going and going and going and going. There's likely a better time and place for that. Yes. Uh, so and be respectful of, and cognizant of the interviewer's time too, because yeah. they might be on a pretty strict schedule. They want to get to the next interviewer or even just the next business meeting uh, that they mm -hmm. have thereafter. So what I say is try to ask your smartest two to three types of yeah. questions. Yeah. Uh, and I like trying to get them again to be kind of reflective, maybe kind of ask them, you know, what does success look like within a probationary period? How would you set the candidate up for success if hired? Yeah. Uh, and what how have you grown maybe mm -hmm. in the career, in your career with this organization or how have you grown others? So that really kind of puts it back on them and it really should highlight how they're looking to hire you too. Yeah. Cause I often think interviews are two way streets. It's yes. not only just a candidate selling themselves or trying to give their best performance. Mm -hmm. There's an active part on the employer to give their best performance yes. too. Cause mm -hmm. even though I might post a job ad and get hundreds of candidates. I might only have a couple, if not maybe just one that I really like mm -hmm. and I feel is quite qualified yeah. for the role. So I need to not only hear from that person, but I need to sell them on our organization and why maybe they should switch or join our organization uh, there as well. And then my last point to that, and I know I'm rambling and I've given a lot, but I love this question mm -hmm. is uh, the, the prep doesn't stop after the interview, mm -hmm. it continues to go. So there's so many people that I've chatted with that uh, I say, well, how was that interview? I knew you had one today. Uh, Alex, I bombed it. It, it sucked. <laughs> it was the worst. I just walked out pretty defeated. And I, and I will always follow up and say, well, what did you learn? Like, how did you yeah. take away from it? Because remember, interviewing is a skill. So I say, well, you should write out those questions. You should write out right away some of the questions that they've asked and which ones maybe that you didn't feel you yeah. answered right and appropriately. Yeah. And then practice them for later because, you know, maybe yeah. another company will ask you that down the line. And then mm -hmm. again, once you get to that question again, you'll be more prepared. Yeah. Those are great tips. I tell uh, students or clients I'm helping, have the job description in front of you. All those bulletin points, that can be a question and have a story for that. And again, as you mentioned, ChatGTP can flip that. And even sometimes ChatGTP can say, give me an example. It will give you an idea. As you said, it's a skeleton, and but not specific. And don't be abide by that. Right. But have your yeah. stories. And I, it's good that you mentioned also, follow the companies, You know, engage with their content, because sometimes... Uh, people will check that out and it will be very beneficial for you. Yeah. Like a quick, that's pretty interesting or interesting, cool project. Like those yeah. types of comments, likes, they do get noticed. Yeah. Thank you for that. Again, for the audience, if you have any more tips in terms of uh, prepping for interviews, leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Alex. Mm -hmm.